Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to talk you through how to formulate gender neutral and inclusive personal care. I'm going to give you some key tips and tricks of how you formulate specifically to suit this target audience. But before we get into those tips and tricks, let's first consider the biological gender of the person that you're formulating a product for. That's right, you can't create a gender neutral product that is going to suit both those that were biologically born as male and female. And that's because a person's skin and hair will be heavily influenced throughout their lifetime by the hormones circulating in their system. This means even if someone was biologically born a female, but now prefers to identify as gender neutral or a male, their skin and their hair will still be heavily influenced by estrogen and progesterone in their system. This means their actual needs from the product will be based on those hormones and the traditional needs of the way they were biologically born. Another example is someone who is biologically born male, but now prefers to identify gender neutral or as a woman. Again, their skin and hair needs will be heavily influenced by the extra testosterone circulating in their system. And this will influence the types of products they need to get the desired performance results. Let's look at some specific examples that will also help me explain how you would formulate to suit gender neutral and create more inclusive products. Let's look at a 40 year old person. First, let's consider that 40 year old person was biologically born a woman. By the time they are 40, regardless of how they identify, their skin is becoming quite dry, the collagen in their skin is decreasing, their skin's becoming thinner, and they're starting to show signs of age. So they need products that is going to address all of these factors. They can't use male skincare because it doesn't have the same amount of lipids, humectants, or anti-aging actives that their skin actually requires to get the best appearance. However, they don't usually want to use products that are traditionally marketed to women because of the packaging, the marketing, and the way they smell. So what do we do instead? Well, if you are creating a product for this 40 year old person, you need to remember the biological needs based on their gender. So they were biologically born a female, which means they need extra lipids in that formula to moisturize their skin, extra humectants to make it supple and prevent extra drying, and they need some anti-aging actives. But they're not going to respond to a product that is traditionally marketed to women because they don't feel like it really addresses their desires. So instead, you would need to look at the way it is positioned, marketed, packaged, and definitely look at that fragrance. Adjust the fragrance and the marketing and even the positioning and packaging of the product so that it is more gender neutral or suits those who now identify as male. But the actual formula besides the fragrance would address their biological skin needs. Similarly, let's talk about a 40 year old person who was biologically born a male, but now identifies as gender neutral or female. Now again, their skin and their hair has been heavily influenced by high amounts of testosterone throughout their life. Their pores are becoming larger. They still have quite oily skin compared to those who are biologically born as a female. And they're definitely not showing the same signs of age as those biologically born female, but they still need some extra ingredients to boost energy and vibrancy of their skin. So what do we do? Well, you would need to formulate with some very light skin fuel lipids like esters and use humectants to help moisturize the skin so that it doesn't feel greasy. You'd use energizing and antioxidant actives rather than anti-aging actives. And of course, you'd need to carefully consider how you fragrance that product. So the actual formula would address the biological needs of someone born male, but the way the product is positioned, marketed, packaged, and definitely that fragrance needs to be more gender neutral or slightly feminine in its appearance. It's incorrect to think just because someone would prefer a gender neutral product that one product is going to suit every skin and hair type. 
We also need to consider if there is some ethnic differences. If you want to consider the needs of different ethnicities, please watch my video on formulating for different ethnic skin and hair types and how they differ between races. But when you're formulating for gender neutral products, you still need to consider the biological gender of the person you're formulating for. The biological needs of those skin and hair products will still be very consistent with the dominant hormones in their system, regardless of how they prefer to identify. But it is really important that you look at your positioning, marketing, packaging, and definitely that aroma to be more gender neutral and inclusive. Make sure you explain the benefits that the product will provide based on performance, but every other aspect needs to be marketed in a much more gender neutral manner. And that aroma is incredibly important. One of the first things a consumer will do, regardless of how they identify, is smell a product. And if they don't find that smell appealing to their particular demographic, they won't purchase the product. We no longer conform to any one particular stereotype, but based on our hormones, our skin and hair still responds in certain ways to different types of products. So we need to address the biological needs of the person we're formulating for, but then consider carefully how we're packaging, promoting and fragrancing a product to be more gender neutral and inclusive. I hope this helps you understand how to formulate to be more gender neutral and inclusive with your personal care product types, as it's one of the top trends that's going to continue to grow next year and in the future. Please give the video a thumbs up, please leave any questions or comments below, and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating!